So carry on with Unreal Sequencer. Um, just going to do some other little bits and bobs. So what I'm actually going to do here is animate some of the post-process volume um, elements. So on this scene, we have a post-process. can highlight that there. I can go down to track. And I can add the actor to a sequence. Uh, I can also just search for it here as well. So I could just search for post-process. We have that there. So we can bring it in that way as well. So let's do that. Just going to move this up a little bit and delve down into this track. So click on the plus. We can basically add in what we want to work with on this. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to add my lens bloom. So if I look over here, I have this lens bloom intensity. So I'm going to add that in. And I'm also going to add in my exposure, exposure compensation here as well. So let's just click on the plus, go to settings, go to our camera. Where are you? Uh, da, 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 lens exposure, sorry, and exposure compensation. So we've got both of those tracks in there now. So as before, let's go into this. Let's zoom out of this. So I can see what's going off. Oops. Just trying to work out where my shots have gone. I had my animation keys on. Um, there we go. Back to here. So in here, all we need to do is just find the place that we want to animate these two things. Um, so I'm going to have it here. So as I kind of transition there, I'm going to have this so this really blooms out and overexposes. It almost goes to white before coming into this shot here. So I'm going to start at this point. Um, I'm just going to add a couple of keyframes in here. So I'm just going to click here and here just to add a keyframe for those two points. I'm going to go a bit further forward. And let's add a keyframe in here and let's go in and play around with us uh, well actually no I want that to stay at these values these are the default values I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go back to these default values okay then I can just go to the previous keyframe and I can play around with the values here in this transition period so I'm gonna bring out the bloom We could maybe do it with just that as well. I'm going to bring out the bloom like that. And let's just bring out the exposure compensation. So I'm going to really white this out. So we have that kind of a flash. Like that. So it's just another way of transitioning. What I may do is actually, let me just go back to this previous keyframe. I might just um, set the exposure so it comes up a little after. So this is our default of 1.8. It's gonna go in a couple of keyframes. It's gonna have the exposure come in much quicker. So over here, I'm gonna create a new keyframe. I'm gonna set this back to 1.8 so it's going to bloom out first and only get that final exposure jump at the end like that
similarly, I might have this go back to its beginning exposure again. So let's set that to 1.8. So I get more out of the loom on there. Um, I could also do this at the end. So one of the ones, one of the things I experimented with, um, just on this shot, I'm going to go back to. Let's go back to the first take. So as this comes in, we get this bit of a lens flare. So just to start increasing the bloom a little bit on this to make it a bit otherworldly. So let's go around there. I'm just going to go in this time with the intensity for the bloom. Let's create a keyframe there. And around this point, again, I'm just going to bring this value up. Might just drag this out quite near the end. So what I don't want in this, I'm noticing that this value is changing already from this previous value here. So let me just go back to this. Let's just jump on these. So this is my 1.2 setting. This is my 1.2 setting here. But then it slowly moves from that 1.2 value. I'm noticing it doing that there. So on this one, what I want to make sure I do, let's just go into the interpolation. I just want to set this to, uh, let's just come on again. Let's just set this to a constant. Um, So this is where it's spiking. So let me just set this to constant here. Oh, excuse me. So you can set this as a constant. I might just need to break these tangents, but let's try this. There we go. So just setting this as a constant interpolation from there, that's going to maintain that value. Let's check this value here. Let's click on this keyframe. Let's just make sure that is 1.2. That's straight across the board, and then it only changes the value from that point. So it goes up, then stays at 1.2. When it gets to here, then it starts blooming out. So just making sure we're controlling the interpolation of all of this. Now I can go in and try different things out if I wanted to. So just looking at this, we have this lens flare. Could always go into this. Where did I have there? Oh, we got the lens flare. So we could even increase this lens flare property a little bit. Turn that back to what it was. Uh, so let's add that in with our lens flare. So again, let's go into our post-process volume, click on track, go to settings. Let's have a look at where this is, lens flare. And again, I'm doing the intensity. I have that there. Let's go to my frame here. Just click on this to go, where are we? Now my exposure, my intensity. Where are you? On this one, there we go. So just go back to this frame. I'm going to go into my intensity now for my lens flare. Let's create a new key there. Just looking at this one as well, uh, let me just make sure that that's going on this. This is the exposure intensity. So 
So I'm just going to set that there. I'm going to set that there. So that's only going up at that point. Okay. Let's go back to this. So this is my point here. So let's bring that. I just had that locked by the looks of it. Uh, uh, the snapping on it. it um, let's take the snapping off. Shall we lock this again? I think it's just because I'm so zoomed out. So let's have that and let's just increase the intensity of this. And have that go back. Just so we have something like that, okay? So anything we bring into this, we can actually animate the properties of it. So anything within the details that we have, uh, you've actually got control over the animation there. So let's just look at this interpolation of this, this particular track. So I'm just checking again, just this interpolation coming into this, uh, that that's all okay. Oh, that's fine. Let's go with that. Um, let me just go back to the beginning now. So we have the... Again, that's just a capture software. It would go much more quickly. And that's just looking at um, just affecting some of the other properties or other tracks. So I was just using the post-process volume, adding certain tracks into there and creating animation keys to that.